What does it mean to play rated at a casino? Part two, table games edition. In part one, I answered the question of how you get rated if you're playing at a slot machine or a video poker machine. When you're dealing with a machine, it's simple because everything is automatic. When you're dealing with a table game, it's more complicated because it takes manual human interaction. When you walk up to the blackjack table, you're going to present your loyalty card, which you get for free, and the money that you're bringing to the table. The dealer is going to make change for you and hand your loyalty card to the pit boss. The pit boss is going to take your loyalty card and they're going to swipe it in the computer. Then they're going to proceed to punch in two things. One, they're going to punch in how much money you came to the table with. And two, they're going to watch your first bet and enter that into the computer. From that point forward, you're now officially being rated. And just like the slot machine or video poker, there's an equation being run in the background that's calculating your average bet size that the pit boss just entered and how long you're sitting at the table for. Now, when you're sitting at the table, you're free to change your bet size. As long as it's within the minimum and maximum of the table limits, you can bet whatever you want. But because you're changing your bet, that equation in the background has to change too. So it's up to the pit boss to come around frequently and keep track of how often you're changing your bet and what you're changing it to. And remember, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. And when I say it's how you play the game, it's your average bet size over the duration of your gambling session. Like and follow for my next video where I'm going to give you four tips on how to increase your player rating while you're playing blackjack. And that way, if anyone asks, you can always answer the question, 